the Lord. I'm privileged to stand on this exalted altar. My name is Faith James. By the special grace of God, I'm saved. I'm here to tell God thank you for giving me brand new eyes yesterday. Yes, it's brand new eyes. Brand new eyes. I can feel the change. Yesterday, while I was coming, I came with my glasses. I've been on eye problems over 12 years. I can't even remember if that's been long. Right from when I was a child. Each time I start having that crisis, I won't see clearly. If wherever my mom is, if she hears this testimony, she can, she can attest to read. In 2011, they gave me eyeglass. I started using it to enable me to see clearly, especially distance objects, and while I'm reading. Then I used it for a while. I stopped. But then, of recent this year, I discovered that I was going blood. I couldn't see very well anymore. At a point, I would clean my eyes very well before I can see. And I, I went to pick up the other glass. The, one of the lens has broken out. So I went to see the eye doctor, only for him to tell me that my eyes had deteriorated because I did not use the glass they gave me before. I said, what will I do? He said, he's going to give me new glasses, that my eyes are seeing differently, that two eyes are not seeing the same thing. And that if I don't take care of it, in later stage, I might not see. I said, God forbid. But I wanted to go with his advice, and they gave me new glasses in August this year. And I've been using it as I was instructed. When I want to read, I use it. Yesterday when I got here, I was using these glasses. While the man of God was preaching, he, he, after the preaching, he started praying. And when he was praying, he said, blind eyes will see. I told God I am not blind. I know I can still see, but I don't want to be on glasses. And I prayed with him. After the prayer, I, I perceived something. It's as if a light shone on my eyes. I just, I don't know, light shined on my eyes. I saw something brighter than it was before. And I looked at, I removed my glass. It, when I was with the glass, it's as if the glass did not make me to see again. I removed the glass. My eyes were shining out. I said, what am I seeing? I'm seeing better than I used to do. And I dropped the glass. I fold it and put it here. Ever since yesterday, I have not opened this glass. I have not put on my eyes. I did not come out yesterday because I said I want to check. There is a sensation I'm going to get if I don't wear my glasses. And throughout today, that sensation was nowhere to be found. I can see clearly. I sat close to the screen and I was seeing everything clearly. Nothing affected my eyes. The light did not affect my eyes. And I feel relaxed in my eye muscles. And I want to tell God, thank you for giving me brand new Amen. What did she get? Brand new new eye today brown kidney for you today brown heart for you brown new liver for you you will receive your own the second testifier very praise the lord praise the lord my name is Eze David um, from Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, University of Portacourt, River State, um, Nigeria. I want to thank God for what God did for me yesterday. I'm very, very grateful for this house of blessing. For the past seven months now, we're having a series of missing results. And it has caused me to have a spillover. I've been, my pastors in my fellowship, they know about my case. And we've been praying and believing God. So, um, Yesterday night, I raised up my, my prayer request, raised up my hand when our uh, Father in the Lord, Baba, thank you very much, sir. When I was praying yesterday night, I just raised up my hand and then I believed God. I, I, I expected from God. And then this afternoon, my name was turned to Brother Blessing. My lecturer that handles my results called me and said, and said, um, Easy, you are very lucky. The professor that's supposed to handle your result has signed your result and approved it. For seven months. For seven months. And yesterday night, I also received a touch on my ear. Since last week Friday, I've been having this pain in my ear. I don't eat to the left side of my mouth. 
Um, and then during the prayers, I didn't touch my ears last night, but I tested. I went home last night. I ate around 11 o'clock in the night. I ate and the pain was not there. I ate this morning again and the pain was not there since Friday to this very morning. This very uh, yesterday night, I received my healing. To this morning, I'm not experiencing the pain. I say, in the name of the Lord, we praise in Jesus' name. Double, double miracle for him. Double miracle for you. In Jesus' name. Heaven has approved something for you tonight. You will get your letter from heaven. The miracle is both for the young and the old. And right now, a young sister wants to testify. May they praise the Lord. My name is Ezala Lovett, Olwebubechi. I'm in Chivetin district in Ofrumola group in Nigeria. I want to thank the Lord because the, a week before I was about to go to school, I, I was admitted because of I was not feeling fine that much. So I was admitted in the, in the clinic. So the day when I came back, the next day, my mother said that let me let her go and buy gas with me and my sister. So as we went, as we came back, my mother said she wants to keep the car and then let us cross the road and go to the house. So my sister now crossed, leaving me there for me to cross alone. So I now went to the front of the car, of my mommy's car, to cross. So that she will help me and watch. So I looked to the to my right. I the car was very far coming. And I looked to my left. I did not see any car. And I said, okay, let me cross. And I was carrying gas. So as I was about to cross, just two steps forward, a car knocked me down. And the gas that I was holding scratched the floor. And what I'm taking God for is that the gas did not explode and my life was not taken. It's only injuries that I had. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. May God give all of us thankful hearts in Jesus' name. The Lord deliver her. Let's listen to social media if they have anything for us there before the next person. I believe they have much. Or from other locations, you have testimonies. We are ready to listen to you. Let's listen to the next one from here. The Lord, brethren. My name is Sister Lami Okoli from Jordan Group of Districts, Bombay State. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I thank God for what He has done in my life. I was seriously sick. I thought it was malaria, only for me to discover it was COVID 19. The name sounds so big, but our God is bigger than COVID 19. Praise the Lord. My brethren, I really suffered. I lost my sense of smell. I lost my appetite. I had pains. I thank God for my brethren, my leaders, my state of affairs from different places. They called, they prayed. That October 10th, Sunday service. It was a combined service in Gombe State, but I couldn't go to church because of my health. But our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. Debbie of Kumui, in the combined service in Lagos, he called Pastor Ajayi of Isolo to come and testify of what God has done in his life, how God has delivered him from COVID-19. That day, our Father in the Lord said, we are celebrating a life. No death. No death. And I claimed it. I believe I will be delivered from COVID, as God has done it for our pastor, Pastor Ajayi. By the grace of God, as I'm talking, brethren, as you can see me smiling, I am free from COVID-19. Now I am negative. God has done it in my life. May the name of the Lord Almighty be praised. 
Praise ye the Lord. Yeah. Now, the name of Christ is greater than your problem. Then, when we are to listen to testimony today, we don't expect anybody to go until the last testimony is given. As she key into the testimony of Pastor Ajayi in Lagos concerning COVID, she received her own miracle. So at the time of testimony, remain where you are. You will receive your miracle. We must remain where we are because our father is here and we want to listen to the last testimony to go away while he's here, while testimony is going on, will not be good for us. I pray every one of us here will stay behind and receive additional miracles in Jesus' name. The next person now. Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel Rudolphia, coming all the way from Akwaibom. I promise God that I will come here to give testimony. By the grace of God, I am born again. It was in the month of March, I went to my farm to cultivate. Suddenly, I draw a stick. The stick hit, the stick hit to my right eye. And it was so painful to me, I went to the nearby chemist to buy drugs. I took the drugs, and the, the, the pain was so severe. I went to Mercy Hospital at the back. After the extent that they tried for two months, pus were coming out of my eye. They said the only solution is for them to remove my eye and put a TV shot. Suddenly, a friend told me that I should go to Calabar. I went to General Hospital at Calabar. They tried. They said the only solution is to remove my eye and put a TV shot. So I decided to go back. I looked for a pastor. Went to uh, the state pastor, uh, Pastor Daminoba. He is he's, he's here present. He prayed for me and counseled that I will use my two eyes to do the work of God. Coming back, I went to my state pastor here, Pastor Emmanuel Mays. He prayed for me. He said, I will use my two eyes to do the work of God. Praise the Lord. So during the Signs and Wonders crusade, I decided to go to Calabar with my wife. I was there. The first night, I took the drive, uh, the, uh, the, the pain relief, and the pain was so severe. The second day, I said, I will not take the... the, the, the the, the, the drugs again. I stayed throughout that crusade. On Sunday, during the time the God's generous was preaching, the Lord healed me. The Lord healed me. I said, may the name of the Lord be glorified. The Lord healed him. The Lord will heal you. Tonight is your night. Let's listen to social media or from any other location. If they have, I believe they have testimony. Let's listen to them, please. As we wait for them, let's listen to our sister. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Oparim Faithful. I want to really thank the name of the Lord for what he did in my life. Okay, 2019, I applied for a scholarship. And I sat for the scholarship exam. I was among those that were selected. But I could not meet up with the requirements I could not submit what they required because of COVID-19. And so they told us that if we cannot submit all, if we cannot meet up with the requirements, the scholarship will be withdrawn. I, I've already lost hope. But last month during Divine Solution, my dad called me and was like, they've already paid people their scholarship money. I, was, I could not even tell him the situation because I was scared. But I went on Saturday for Divine Solution, and I told God that, God, I know that I did not meet up with the requirement. I could not submit it, but I want to be a beneficiary. And when the GS was praying, he said that tonight there is a divine solution for everybody. 
and I claimed it, and I said that there will be divine solution for me, because with God, there is nothing impossible. I prayed. On Sunday, I came. I prayed too. When I got home, lo and behold, they paid me the scholarship. Not just for one year. They paid me for two years. Praise the Lord. There is divine solution for every problem. Tonight, there is divine solution for your problem. The next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, my name is Chikwendu Daniel from Eluelibo District, Ukakola Group, Potako Region, Nigeria. But I'm, uh, I want to thank God for healing. When I hear people testifying of uh, healing on pains, I begin to wonder. Little did I know that pain has torment. Until I get to experience one terrible and severe pain in 2016 on my right leg, in my right leg. The pain was as a result of the boot that was given to me when I was working in a multinational uh, national oil company. When I found out, I quickly dropped that boot and stopped using it. But that does not stop the pain. The pain continued. I took a lot of pain relieving tablets, all to no avail. I later went to my hospital, met the doctor. After treating me, nothing happened. The pain was still there. Then I went back to her and complained. She now said I should go for cholesterol test. I agreed. Then, when I was waiting for time for me to go, I now heard of a the August Crusade that, was, that held at Enugu then, divine torch for total freedom. Then the crusade was going on at Enugu while I hooked up here. Then along the line, I said that one of the things that will make me to receive my healing is that this crusade is being done at Enugu. And secondly, I'm from Enugu State. Brethren, God honored that statement. Do you know that? This pain has lasted with me for five years, from 2016 to 2021. On the second to last day, that, that was 30th of August, 2021, the man of God came and said we should lay our hands, one on our head, and one where we had a problem. And I did. Brethren, he has not even concluded the prayers. This pain that has tormented me, for five years just disappeared. I said to God, who has done this for me? Be the glory in Jesus' name. Tonight, before the conclusion of prayer, your problem will vanish away. The last person now before the choir. We have many more lining up. But let's listen to the last person. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I am Wami Stella from Ubulubu Group of Districts and Yocha Region, Asaba One in Delta State of Nigeria. I thank God for what He has done for me. I've been having a series of challenges. So, during the time of Divine Touch at Enugu, our state pastor counsel us and said, Papa is coming because I've been looking for opportunity to see him. Because I told myself, I said, once I see him, everything will be over. And the challenge is, is uterine fibroids. It started 2009. The first operation was conducted 2014. Then at the 2016, the team grew up. Then 2000. Uh, 2019, he became worse, and I because his series of miscarriages. The last one was March this year, and it was severe. Then after that, 
with all the medication and everything, they have to refer me back to the hospital where they conducted the first operation. Then when I got there, after the test and everything, the doctor cancelled and said, the only chance I have is to remove the womb so that I can be free. I said, although I've been suffering from this miscarriage, no child. And if the womb is removed, what will happen? He said, accept God intervention. And I said, well, let it be by God intervention. Then we visited our state pastor at Asaba, Pastor Mondo Sabuye. I believe maybe it's here. So at that divine touch, the Lord did wonders. I remember that Sunday because I came in late Saturday. Then on Sunday, Papa said, it, you are going to receive double dose. I said, God is for me. So after the prayer of man of God that day, because he said we should lay hands, I came out for testimony because I was not feeling pain. And I told them that I believe the five blood is no longer there. They said, well, I should go for a confirmation test. And when I returned home, I started testifying to people. God had healed me. Then on 10th of October, I said, I need to confirm it. I have to go back to the hospital. When they run all the scans and everything, they came out and said, woman, there's nothing like five blood in your womb. Your womb is free. Then I lifted hand up my hand. I said, it is God that did it. That I know that it is divine touch. So I told myself, I said, I have to come down to Pateco since pa uh, Papa will be coming so that my testimony will be full and the rest will be complete. Praise the Lord. When I see him, I be made whole. Tonight, you have seen our pastor here. Tonight, you will see Jesus. And you will be made whole in Jesus' name. We listen to Portacot Choir now.